My name is Charles Elliot Perkins. Some of you may recognize me as the founder of Garden of the Gods. My friend General William Jackson Palmer had helped discover it. I was originally supposed to build a railroad through it, but my plans had changed. After seeing this gorgeous scenery, I knew that I could not destroy it. Instead, I had thought of a better idea. I would buy the land, but not build on it. Instead, I had thought about opening it to the public. This all started in the summer of 1879, when my friend had found God in the Gods. Of course, everyone had to help me. Unfortunately, the garden wasn't well known right then and there. Very few people had come at the time, so we weren't very popular. Luckily, with me being the president of the railroad company, I decided to build a railroad right around it, so when people passed by, they had to see it. A little after time had passed, the garden got more visitors coming from everywhere, but the new visitors had to pay a fee to come and enjoy the gorgeous scenery, which was a sad downfall. Everyone loved seeing it from far and close, but nobody wanted to pay. For that reason, we were losing, again, visitors. They wanted to see this beautiful scenery without a pay, without having to pay to take a picture. That had dramatically affected our visitor count, so I had a new plan. I wanted to make it a public park for everyone to see with no price at all. The visitors would be able to take free pictures, walk around, and see all the rocks freely without any charge so we could get more visitors. As we were getting close to the plan, something had happened. We had discovered fire rings later after we opened. We knew that there were people before us, so the Garden of the Gods was before seed. By the time we were getting our plan into action, visitors were coming rarely. Since we were charging, nobody really wanted to come and see us, which was losing our popularity. I am sure people had wanted to see it up close without a pay. That had dramatically changed our plan. However, we would get the word out. Nobody wanted to come, so how would we tell them about the free opening? Sadly, I had died before it came a public park open free to the public but my lovely children realized how much this meant to me they had carried it on so now today and so on garden of the gods will be parked really open to the public